I am the Franchise King, Joel Labata. Today I'm going to give you another franchise research tip. This one is a doozy. This one may not make sense at first, but I think it will once you find out what I'm talking about, all right? And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like what I have to say, and eh, even if you don't. Today's franchise research tip revolves around calling franchisees, but I want you to do something a little different. I want you to call 10 to 15 franchisees, actually a minimum of a dozen franchisees of the franchise opportunity you're interested in purchasing. So 12 to 15 franchisees, call them. What I want you to do is try to find an unhappy franchisee or two. I'm talking about a franchisee that's either not making money or is making average money and isn't happy with corporate. Find somebody or two people, if you can, that are unhappy. Now, you might get lucky and call 12 franchisees and they're all really happy. Hey, that's fine. Keep calling until you find an unhappy one or a shortcut. Call another franchisee back who you talked to already and ask them if they know anyone in the system that is unhappy. You know, these franchisees tend to talk to one another. So they may know someone who's kind of an unhappy franchisee, if you will. See if you can get the name and then call that person because they're going to be listed in the FDD anyway. So see if you can find an unhappy franchisee or two. Here's why. It's not to talk you out of buying the franchise that you're really set on. It's to find out what the unhappiness is really about. Is it more about the franchisee and his or her unrealistic expectations? Or is it something deeper? Is it something to do with corporate, with the culture? Like, for example, is the franchisee asking, franchisee asking for help and not getting it at all because the culture is like really hard-nosed and they want you to kind of figure out things for yourself? Or they're hard to get a hold of? Or their follow-up is, is not good? Is that why they're unhappy? Or are they unhappy for another reason? Maybe they're not making enough money. Maybe they thought they were going to make $120,000 a year and they're making sixty, dollars and they're not happy. Find out why. So when you find someone that's unhappy, that's a franchisee, dig deep. Just be nice. Ask questions in a nice, non-threatening way. That way, you'll know about some things that you never would have found out about from the happier franchisees. So today's franchise research tip, find franchisees that are less than happy and see why. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Ababa. Thank you for watching. And as always, you go to the Franchise King blog and find out what's new in the world of franchising and get more tips. Thanks for watching.